Hey guys, Haim here, and this is one of the first smartwatches to ever come out back in 2014. This is the original Moto 360. Before we start with the review, I'd like to introduce you to a new series slash playlist I'm creating here on the channel called It's where you'll find all the cool, strange, weird gadgets that I will and already have reviewed, so go check it out on the link below. Admittedly, the first thing people are going to ask when they see your smartwatch or any smartwatch is, is that the Apple Watch? And you have to explain that it's not, it's not the Apple Watch, it's a different watch. And sure, a lot of people will find no use for a smartwatch, and their first thought would be, what can this do that my phone can't? And the answer is, nothing really. Most of the smartwatches from big companies like Samsung, LG, Motorola, are meant to be paired with your phone via Bluetooth and mirror its notifications. But, I've been using it for about two years now, I got it back in March 2015, and I'd say that if you're the type of person that wears a watch every day, having the ability to see your notifications and answer is a big plus. And pair that with a Bluetooth earbud, review coming soon, or if you're watching this later, a card will appear now. And you don't even have to take your phone out of your pocket to talk to the phone. Ironic. So the watch got its name from the 360 degrees round shape. And at the bottom of the screen, there's a little black part that's cut off at the display. This is where the sensors are. The 300 mAh battery is responsible for providing juice to this 320 by 290 IPS 1.56 inches screen. But as you can see, there's no physical port on the watch to plug in an actual charger. Because the Moto 360 charges wirelessly with a very convenient wireless charger, which I guess also doubles as a clock. I usually get around eight hours of use. Use meaning getting a few notifications, clearing them and maybe answering a few. But if you're the type of person that wants to browse the internet on the watch, or if you really want to look up something right now, or if you get many notifications throughout the day, your mileage will vary. The watch itself is not very thick or heavy. Coming in at only 11.56 millimeters. Most of the time I forget I'm even wearing it. The frame is stainless steel with an IP67 rating, which stands for ingress protection. And the numbers, in this case 67, give us protection from contact from harmful dust and protection from immersion up to one meter for up to 30 minutes. If you want to learn more about IP ratings, the link will be down in the description. The Gorilla Glass 3 has your screen covered from any accidental scratches like banging on the walls, tables, pockets, zippers, anything. Way better than the glass of my Galaxy S7 Edge that has scratches one week after I got it. Under the hood, the Moto 360 supports a pedometer to count your steps and a heart rate sensor. Since its launch back in September 2014, the software has been updated to Android Wear 1.4 with a lot of things being different than they used to. But setting up your watch is a piece of cake. So, do you have a smartwatch? If so, let me know down in the comments below what you use it for. If you don't, check the link in the description to find out where you can buy this or maybe the newer version. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe for more colorful content. See you in the next one. To count your steps and a heart rate sensor for all you Fitbits out there that sure watch my videos and a heart rate sensor.